In this video, we're going to talk about noise from elevators in CLT buildings and how you can reduce it. Here's a case I'm working on right now. So we've got the elevator shaft here. The brown walls here, they are the load carrying structure, CLT elements. And the grayish white ones, they are uh, uh, the uh, sound insulation layer. Well, let's draw the wall, it's easier than to... An image says more than a thousand words. So you got CLT and then you got an air gap. I don't know, maybe it's 40-ish. And you got 70 by 45s here, perhaps. With uh, mineral wool, of course. And then you got a double layer of gypsum. So when you got this thing, the, the structure born sound from the elevator will have a hard time to travel and jump the air gap and excite this wall and come out. So these walls are safe. And, and, and that's uh, this one is no worries. Oh, let's do with the red one instead. This is no worries. This one is no worries because you can see it's got this extra protective layer there. It's an apart unit separating wall. And he here's the same thing. Here, this is the next apartment. So to, to treat, to handle the sound insulation, we got this extra layer here. But it's on this side, and here's the problem, because you want the, the CLT structure, is, is the elevator shaft, basically. And then you can see here, continuous CLT can transmit sound. Structure-borne sound comes from the elevator when it goes up and down and stops. Excites this wall into this room, and then it will emit noise in here. So we have to do something about that. And... One way of solving this pr would be to, let's see if we can just go a little bit to the side like this. When you have the CLT wall, if you add an uh, acoustic profile, so you got this little uh, metal thing, which is a bit resilient, flexible. They are 25 millimeters thick usually, and then you add double gypsum. And this is 25 acoustic profile and this is CLT so that's one way to solve it another way because I noted here here's another CLT wall here in the apartment and here you don't have this this uh, this is not a unit separation wall so then you don't have this one it's gone and then the elevator will excite this structure and perhaps it will lead flanking sound here and into the apartment there, so that this wall will radiate sound when the elevator goes up and down. So how do we solve that? Well, another way to solve it could be if we perhaps take this little connection, the T-junction here, see if I can just... like so. So where, where these two CLT slabs meet, if you look at it from above, if we could perhaps do something like this to get an elastic interlayer here, elastomere, that way we could perhaps reduce the sound transmission because then this transmission will be reduced when it has to jump over this layer. Whereas if this would be a flush solid connection it will be easier for it to to travel through that so that's uh, two uh, two ways of solving the problem with with just one apartment and one elevator shaft so that's that's pretty good be careful with this when you're working with clt flanking transmission is always a critical issue between dwellings and uh, also with elevator shafts or uh, other types of structure borne sound and your basic two options is to either separate it and use elastic interlayers like this, or acoustic profile, you add extra sound insulation on the load carrying frame. A and also uh, this one with the unit separation walls, that's also a way to solve it. And in tonight's video, I'm wearing the Game of Thrones look here with some battle scars in my face because I was, well, I was fighting a deadly, deadly dog <laughs> Labrador Retriever. We were playing around. Old timer, 10 years old. <laughs> and he, he, he got so playful tonight for some reason. And I just, ah, we wrestled around and then he, <laughs> that's, 
steps on my face and it was oops that was that was dumb but anyways i thought why, why not just go with the flow and add a red pocket square to pick up the pick up the big flesh wound here because it's always good if you if you add some color splash to your outfit that you pick it up somewhere else and that that creates harmony and it makes it a bit nicer to look at so see you later <laughs>